Wingex Pro 7 has a lot of great terrain features. For example, we have the passive radar altimeter up in the top left that shows you the terrain elevation. You can click on that and, and uh, select AGL, and that will report the actual AGL altitude, which is the distance between your aircraft and the terrain. As you can see, we have the terrain turned on so that we're seeing the section will show up in reds and yellows. The reds are above you. We have the GPWS. This is the new display that we're showing over there. So terrain's 0.9 in front of you. The markers used to be up in the top right. We've now actually moved it just right in front of you, so it's much easier to read. Uh, we have a few other things as, as well with, with terrain. We have obstacles and so on. One of the nice things we, we've added is a terrain profile view. So if, you, if we click on this button down in the bottom, uh, what we will see is the, we have the route button selected. And so what we're seeing is the route, which is Lake Tahoe to Santa Monica. And you'll notice that uh, we start off with a bunch of mountains, which are these mountains we're flying through now. Then it flattens out, and those are the mountains down near LA. The important thing to note is that the route starts on the left and ends on the right. It doesn't change where you are or what direction you're flying. This is just along, basically the terrain along this magenta line, which is our route. The uh, elevations in the bottom and the top here are basically from zero to 10,000. It doesn't mean that, terrain, that, that the terrain gets to 10,000, just that it gets pretty close. It's just like a normal graph where you have the top and the bottom uh, numbers to depict what the axis is. If we, uh, for example, change the route, so let me uh, just scroll down, down this way and select, uh, let's just say Calaveras. We want to add Calaveras, we can tap on it and say add route. Now watch the terrain profile. The terrain profile will actually change. There you saw it, you saw it change there. Um, because the terrain now changes as we basically get over the mountains a lot quicker. And you can see we're down to 9,000. And so that would be a better way to fly that route. Get over the mountains quickly and then basically just down the valley. Pretty flat. And yeah, we still got those little mountains down near LA. But we've really improved in terms of flight planning, we've really improved the route that we're flying and, and the terrain that we'll encounter. So that's that's great. Now, the second button on the right-hand side of the terrain profile view is GPS. Now, what GPS does, it looks ahead. So if you take our, our current position, and it has nothing to do with your route at all. It's simply where the aircraft is and which way it's facing. And what this depicts is the terrain. So the bottom now is 5,000, top is about 10,000. That gray line depicts our uh, altitude. We're going to hit terrain that's red. So all this red stuff we're going to hit, we're going to get really close to this terrain, for example, and in green. So the colors that we're seeing there, the yellows and reds, are exactly the same colors that we're seeing on the terrain uh, overlay on the sectional as well as the synthetic vision. But what's important to note is that this depends on your direction of flight and so as you turn left or right this will change because it's continually looking directly ahead of your aircraft I find this really important in flight the GPS and the route one obviously for for pre-flight planning but this is this is amazingly uh, useful in flight now how far ahead are we looking well first of all the aircraft is on your left and you're flying right so you're always over there on the left you're looking ahead about 50 nautical miles the great thing with the terrain profile view is you can simply pinch to zoom. So just put your fingers on this terrain profile view and pinch to zoom in a horizontal fashion. So basically keep your fingers within this view and just uh, pinch to zoom horizontally. You can get this distance all the way from 10 nautical miles up to 200 nautical miles. And that's useful for just looking ahead or depending on what type of aircraft you're flying. But it'll look ahead uh, anywhere from 10 to 200 nautical miles. So I hope you like this, and like I said, you know, we, we're doing a lot of work with terrain, terrain profile view, the overlays, the uh, passive radar altimeter. For example, if you drag, uh, if you just drag the sectional, you can take a look at what the elevation is. So right under this, this target, basically just drag it, and there, WingX will tell you that it's about 6,900 feet. And so we're doing a lot of work with uh, terrain, as well as the synthetic vision and everything. So, you know, hope you like this. And uh, we'll have a lot more videos coming up and hope you're enjoying the, the uh, feature Friday that, that we're sending out. Uh, we'll be sending out a lot more. Thanks.